All right, let's start Celestia. This is just a brief tutorial to get you started and to uh, highlight some of the important buttons that you're going to be using. As the program opens, it starts on Earth. I have the opening script edited so that it starts right there on Michigan. So you can see what the Earth looks like right now. As I record this, I can see that the sun is just rising in the western United States. Um, and I record this about mid-morning here. All right, let's take a look at some of the important things. First, I want to look at some of these drop-down menus at the top. Navigation is going to be relatively important. If you go down there and go to Solar System Browser, we can see everything that's in the solar system, all the asteroids, all the planets, all of the comets, everything here. Lots of comets there. Anytime you see a plus sign, obviously, well, maybe obviously, that's the moons of that particular planet. And we have the moons of Jupiter, so there's the moon of Jupiter called Himalaya. I can highlight that, and you can see in the upper left, the text there tells you what you have now selected. If you want to go there, you need to hit the Go To button. And having hit the Go To button, we go to Himalaya, which we think looks like this. We're not sure. Alternatively, the way to go move around in Celestia, I am pressing Enter. The menu comes down below. I'm going to start typing. I want to go to Neptune, N-E-P. Uh, oh, if I hit the Tab key, watch what happens. It completes any one of these things here. All of those Roman numerals are the moons of Neptune, and there's lots of them. So let's sele just select Neptune itself. I'm going to backspace here. Hit Enter. That's selected. G will go to Neptune, and that's how you go to Neptune. Here's some other things to keep in mind. The End key, which is, uh, I believe, on the top right of your keyboard. There are two keys labeled Home and End. They might be in different places on your keyboard. Um, will then zoom in and zoom out. And the other thing I can do is I can start rendering orbits. I hit the O key. The O key is going to be somewhat important. There are the orbits. The red line you see is the orbit of the planet itself. And if I pull down the Render menu, this is rather important, View Options, you can see which orbits I am now rendering. Right now I'm just rendering those of the planets and of moons and minor moons. So this particular dialog kind of changes what you see when you're running Celestia, rather important. The other thing we can do is render the labels. So I want the names of the moons and minor moons to show up. There are also keyboard shortcuts. And for keyboard shortcuts, I recommend you pull down the Help menu, Controls, and there is a long list of how you do things. Well, that kind of gets you started. Um, and your purpose in this introductory exercise is to just explore and learn everything you can about Celestia. I have a number of questions, kind of like a scavenger hunt, so that what you're going to be doing for the next couple of sessions is learning how to use Celestia, learning how to find these things. Uh, my hope is that other members of the class will have some insight and they will help you. Oh, right now let's go back to the home of our solar system. I'm pressing the zero key. In the upper left, I see that that means the sun, otherwise known as Sol. I hit G for the go key, and there you go. You always go back to the sun. Lots of other keyboard shortcuts, lots of other capabilities of this program. Um, we'll get to that eventually. So your, your job is to find all these things. There is a user's manual that you should download. It's going to be very important. Um, take your time and learn this program. We'll need it later on. And in the meantime, you'll find out about some of the items in our solar system. That's all for now. Have fun.